This is a very special episode of Mediocre Gamer, because I'm not going to review these games. The fans are. Yeah. For the first time, I asked the fans to write my script for me. But since I'm my only fan, I guess that still means that I wrote it. So get ready to hear my words coming out of my mouth. Here we go. Well, the season is upon us again, and throughout the year I often make top five lists. So for this episode, I thought I'd make another one. So here are the top five video games based on movies. Why only top five? Because I like to go five steps below. So let's get started. The first game on the list is Back to the Future. When I went to see Back to the Future the movie, I thought it sucked. So I'm glad that the game is so much better. I especially like how closely the game follows the movie. Like the music, for instance. This game has music just like the movie does. Now, it's not the same music, but it does have music, and so does the movie. Another striking similarity I liked is how Marty lays on the ground when he gets attacked. It perfectly matches the scene in Back to the Future 2 when Biff is kicking the shit out of him. Now, I've heard other game reviewers complain that Marty can't jump over park benches, but he's not supposed to. He never jumps over park benches in the movie, so it only makes sense that he wouldn't be able to jump over them in the game. Who does he think he is, Rocky? I don't think so. So, the main object in the game is to make it to the end of the level before the Three Stooges on the bottom of the screen disappear. Now, I don't remember the Three Stooges from the movie. And while we're at it, why is Marty wearing a black sleeveless shirt? Shouldn't it be a red sleeveless shirt? It's a red sleeveless shirt in the movie. The only real shit shocker in the game comes at the diner stage, where they want you to hit 50 fuckloads of cowabunga shitstorms of biffs. 50? I can't even get half that. And they want me to get 50? There's not even 50 stages in the game Super Mario Brothers. There's not even 50 pieces of fan art on my website. There's not even 50 people on YouTube that don't think I'm a plagiarizing ripoff hack. There's not even 50 tears rolling down my mom's cheeks as she watches my videos. There's not even 50 suicide attempts in my medical records. But all in all, it's a pretty good game. I just wish I can go back in time and compliment the game developers on a job well done. Unlike some other game reviewers that want to go back in time just so that they can commit murder while standing right in front of the Ten Commandments. Next up on the list is Home Alone. But first, let's have a look at the box art. Look at what Kevin's doing. Hey buddy, what do you think this is? An MC Escher painting? I don't think so. So, your main enemies in this game are Biggie Smalls, Bronson Pinchot, Granny from the Looney Tunes, and Cupcakes with Boners. The hell? And that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. <laughs> 